in this video we can learn how to find the periodicity of the signals find whether the following signals are periodic or not if periodic find the fundamental period here three signals are given we suppose to check whether these signals are periodic or not if the signals are periodic then we suppose to find its fundamental period now let me consider the first example that is x of t is equal to let me take the first example that is x of t is equal to sin square 400 pi t let me call it as equation 1 so here this term is nothing but omega because the signal will be represented as sin omega t so here omega will be equal to 400 pi that is omega is nothing but angular frequency we know that omega is equal to 2 pi f that is we know that omega is equal to 2 pi f is equal to 400 pi or we can write it as 2 pi divided by t because f is reciprocal of t is equal to 400 pi so from this i can write t is equal to 2 pi divided by 400 pi which is nothing but 1 over 200 this is the period of the signal that is 200 now we'll see we'll check whether this signal is periodic or not so here the equation 1 we know that sin square theta is equal to 1 minus cos 2 theta by 2 so if you compare this with this example here we can see that theta is nothing but 400 pi t therefore i can represent it as x of t is equal to 1 minus cos 2 2 into 400 that is 800 pi t divided by 2 or i can represent it as x of t is equal to 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 cos 800 pi into t call it as equation 2 now we know that signal is said to be periodic if x of t plus t is equal to x of t now i will try to represent equation 2 as x of t plus t therefore i can write x of t plus t is equal to so replace t by t plus t in this equation so that i can get it as 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 we have cos 800 pi plus 800 pi into t that is t is nothing but t plus t or i can represent it as 1 over 2 minus 1 by 2 cos 800 pi t plus 800 pi into t or i can simplify this as 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 cos we have 800 pi t plus 800 pi into so already we have calculated t and its value is 1 over 200 that is 1 by 200 or i can simplify this as 1 minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 cos we have 800 pi t plus here we have 4 pi so we know that cos a plus b can be represented as cos a cos b minus sin a sin b so in this case a value is 800 pi t and uh, b is nothing but cos 4 pi so cos 800 pi t plus co into cos 4 pi so cos 4, 4 pi is 1 and sin 4 pi is 0 so that i can represent it as 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 cos that is cos a into cos b here cos a is 800 pi t cos b cos 4 pi is 1 and sine term will be 0 so x of t plus t will be equal to this one which is nothing but x of t so we got x of t is equal to x of t plus t therefore the given signal is periodic
given signal is periodic with period t is equal to 1 upon 200. Let me consider the second signal that is x of t is equal to cos 2t plus sin 3t. x of t is equal to cos 2t plus sin 2t. It is sin 3t. So this is the composite signal that is x of t is consists of two different signals. One is cos 2t signal is added with other signal known as sin 3t. Now we will see how to find the fundamental periodicity for a composite signal. So here we can see that it is a form cos omega t. So I can say omega 1 is equal to 2. Here omega 2 is equal to 3. So we, we know that omega 1 is nothing but 2 pi by t1 is equal to 2. Here we have 2 pi by t2 is equal to 3. Or here t1 is equal to 2 pi by 2 which is nothing but pi and here we have t2 is equal to 2 by 3 pi. So now the next step is we have to perform t1 by t2 that is t1 by t2 t1 is pi t2 is 2 by 3 pi that is nothing but pi into 3 divided by 2 pi which is nothing but 3 by 2. So t, t1 by t2 is rational which is rational. Rational means if it is A by B form then the signal is said to be periodic. Therefore signal is signal x of t is periodic. So this is how we are supposed to find the periodicity if the signal is composite signal. Now we will see the peri period of this signal. The period of the signal can be calculated using the formula. Uh, here I will uh, tell you the direct way of calculating the period of the signal. The period of the signal. is given by it is calculated as say t naught is period of the signal which is equal to lcm of t1 and t2 so that is nothing but lcm of t1 is pi and t2 is 2 by 3 pi so here pi can be represented as pi by 1 so to find the lcm of these two terms then the direct method is T0 is equal to, we supposed to take the LCM of numerator and HCF of denominator. That is LCM of pi 2 pi denominator HCF or GCD both are same is 1 comma 3. So here the LCM of pi and 2 pi is 2 pi and the HCF of denominator is 1. So therefore the period of the signal t0 is equal to 2 pi. x of t is equal to we have sin 4 pi t plus sin 5 t. So here we can say that omega 1 is equal to 4 pi and here omega 2 is equal to 5. Omega 1 is nothing but 2 pi by t1 is equal to 4 pi. 2 pi by t2 is equal to 5 or here t1 is equal to 2 pi by 4 pi which is nothing but 1 by 2 and here it is t2 is equal to 2 pi by 5. So now we will take t1 by t2 ratio that is 
therefore t1 by t2 is equal to t1 is 1 by 2 divided by t2 is 5 by 2 pi which is equal to 5 by 4 pi so here this is not rational number it is not rational therefore signal is not periodic or a periodic you can say so if the signal is a periodic there is no question of finding period of the signal thank you for watching